I go on holiday in like three days. Naturally, I've panic bought quite a few things and I thought we could open them together, including this massive H&M box that's just arrived that I have no idea why it's so big and we're gonna find out together. I think I bought some homeware and maybe that's why. Oh, do you know what? I think I bought some hats. So we are going to Crete. It's me and my boyfriend. This is the first time we've been away together in quite a few years. I've been away, but not with him. And so naturally, I'm very excited. <gasps> oh, I did buy this skirt. Oh my God. I, I really wanted this skirt and I actually went to buy it last night. I have a memory of a fish. Oh dear, I definitely got into like panic holiday outfits mode. So I think this is the culprit of why it's so big. And it's just one of these paper lampshades. I just bought it for, we've got no light shades in the whole house since having the electrics done. I just bought this one for the bedroom. Oh, I think I've accident. Oh no, do you know what this is? It's more homeware, sorry. Like the holiday stuff is coming. I love a blanket on the sofa, but like then I hate the look of the blanket on the sofa if I'm not using it. So I got this as a little sort of blanket trug to be by the sofa. And I also got a small one because Alvin and his dog toys are always all over the place. So I thought I could keep his dog toys in one. They need some padding out, but you get the idea. I don't know. I'll try them out and see if I want to keep them. All right, should we try on what I got? I've also got a COS order and I need to talk to you about a flannels order. It was a luxury item that I don't feel as though I got the luxury experience. Okay, here's a skirt, let's style it up. I haven't even brought up my hair, so my hair's a little bit different to how I usually style it. I was just testing something out for sort of holiday summer hairstyle um, and trying to get my natural waves to sort of form. So I used some mousse and curl cream, I don't know. It's my first time, okay? Any tips for wavy hair, very welcome. Anyway, this skirt, I love it. It's a really, really great price point. I can't remember, it's like about 20 pounds or something, but I just really wanted a cream, flippy, sort of like satin shaped skirt, but this is sort of linen material. It's really comfortable. It's got an elastic waist and I am a fan. I'm really glad I picked this up. Oh. Okay, I remember why I picked these up. They're this interesting like brownie rust color. I'm not sure if this is my color. What do you think? I do kind of love it though. And I've got a couple of things I think would go really well with it. Okay, here are the trousers fully styled up. I'm wearing it with this COS vest top and my Zara brown sandals and my brown Pauline bag. Although I will not be taking this bag on holiday. I really like this whole look together. I love the color of them. I love this rust color. I feel like it's so interesting. It's such a cool, like earthy kind of tone for summer. I love the idea of this. I'm not on board with my own hair yet, but getting there. I'm going to hit pause on the H&M items just because I want to show you another item that I feel like would really go with this outfit but I've got story time. So I had a voucher for flannels and they were doing 20% off last weekend so I picked this bag up that I've been eyeing up and it is the Jacquemus the Panier Soleil or something. Le Petit Panier Soleil and in this sort of a brown color, which I think would go kind of nicely with this outfit. But my bone to pick, right, is that this is the bag that it got delivered in. It was literally just in its dust bag in this bag. And this, is, this bag retails for 355 pounds. And I just feel like, I know I didn't get it for 355, but I just feel like that, is not a luxury shopping experience. And that's kind of put me off the bag a little bit and made me start like questioning the quality of it and stuff. I do have my old Jacquemus basket bag. This I picked up in 
2020, I think. And I love it to this day, I love it. Half of me is just like, why do you need two? But I do love this smaller size and I love this brown. Like I'm wearing this a lot. It though matches perfectly with my sandals. And yeah, I'm just unsure on whether or not I should keep it really. What do you think? But otherwise it would go really well with this outfit. Let's try. What do we think? Do you like the bag? Do you think I should keep it? Let's try on some more things and maybe I will want to style it up some more. Okay, cute little black halter neck top. And these look like some white linen trousers. See, even when I wear these sandals and this bag, it just ties the whole look together. You see why I like them. But yeah, this top I like particularly. I feel like it sits right in your arms where you want to cover up that little bit of skin that pokes out. So I quite enjoy that. It could be like tighter across the bust, but it is high at the back. So you could wear a bra with it, like a strapless bra. But I think I've just really liked the silhouette of it, actually. I'm kind of pleased with this. It's just very, very simple in a good way. I don't know how I feel about my hair, guys. It's still, it's, it's playing on my mind, but I can't be doing like a bouncy blowout every day of holiday. It, my hair doesn't work that way. These linen trousers are also just like fine. I feel like if my bum gets any bigger, we're gonna have problems like it's just a little bit tight at my waist but these ones are small and what I really like is just the simplicity of the tie in at the waist that's why I wanted something really small simple tie because I do have a pair of linen trousers in more of a beige color but they have this really big waistband and I just wanted something very simple obviously they're a little bit see-through like you can see the pockets but I feel like that's often standard with linen trousers. Now this is a white linen shirt that I bought. Okay, I don't like this bikini top with this outfit, but if you can catch H&M's bikinis when they're in stock, they are very good. I have a smaller bust and I love their sort of push-up bras and they have these great bikini briefs that are sort of like this Y front, like smaller on the bum and so it's more flattering on the bum and they come up quite high to like the belly button but not quite i don't know they're a very flattering cut basically i'll link them below i love them i have them in black they're my favorite bikini bottoms very flattering on the lower belly area this bikini is cute my chest is not very tanned and i'm not sure how i feel about wearing bikinis on in general to be honest let alone online on second thoughts, I'm not crazy about that bikini. Having it on for a few minutes, it was actually quite uncomfortable. And one thing about me, if something's uncomfortable, I'm just never gonna pick it up again. I'm gonna be like, oh, that bikini's cute. But I will just literally never wear it again because I hate being uncomfortable. So that might have to go back. However, this whole outfit, which I know is ruined by the microphone in every outfit, which really annoys me, but also I want you to be able to hear me. However, this outfit I am very into. So this is just a really old vest top from Zara, but they always do it, so I'm sure they'll have it. Here's the linen shirt mixed with the linen trousers, my OG Jacquemus bag, Lispect sunglasses, Zara sandals, love, 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 love this whole outfit but I bought something from COS and I'm gonna to have to get out early because I feel like it would make this outfit. How epic is this hat? I feel, I hope it's coming across as epic as I think it looks in real life. It's giving Samantha Sex and the City vibes, is huge, like so dramatic. It's from COS. And I've got a massive head and so hats never fit me, but they, this came in different sizes and so I got the larger size and I just love it. I feel like it's adding all the drama to this outfit. And you know what? It's just pieces like this that I want to wear. This is like giving my best rich lady fantasy life. And I really hope it comes across on video. I feel like it looks really cool in the mirror, but I don't, I'm like looking on the little monitor on my camera and it's kind of like, it's like a, looking like 
a scarecrow, a little bit scarecrow. <laughs> Anyway, I feel like this outfit is so good. I'm obsessed. This is really cool. This is getting me excited. I was, a bit, I was getting worried, okay? I was getting worried about holiday outfits. I also bought these trousers, but in more like of a linen-y color. So let's try them. Okay, so the white were a small and these are medium. I think I'm like bang in the middle of both sizes. That would have been perfect. Probably small is better though. Oh, I'm not sure. These fit pretty. No. Nah. It depends, depends. This top is also H&M. It's just sort of like a simple ribbed vest top, but it's got that contrast trim that I talked about in my uh, spring summer trends video. And I really like it. I really like the shape of it. It's just simple, really good, sort of nice basic to add to any outfit. I've been wearing it a lot actually. And yeah, I like these trousers. I don't think I can keep both colors. And I'm leaning towards the white at the moment. I'm not sure, Ooh, I don't know. But these are nice, simple linen trousers. Let's look at what else we've got from COS. It takes so long to come. By the time it comes, I'm like, I have no idea what I ordered. Ooh, what a gorgeous lilac color. What did I order? is this oh this is this is cool okay first up a gorgeous lilac two-piece i think it's a shirt and trouser what a freaking gorgeous and interesting color this lilac i really love the way cos does color i feel like they just have the most beautiful interesting tones that are different from anywhere else like and it's just the details the fact the button color matches the drawstring on the inside is this lilac color it's all been you know pantone dyed dyed to the exact same color it's a gorgeous linen oh, it, it it just oh it does feel very very nice i love cos so much it's got the hidden button placket so when you do up the buttons you can't see them that's a very extra little bit of like luxury kind of construction love it styled like this especially but you know there's one thing that's going to elevate this outfit i mean now it's epic what did i wear before this hat i think i'm going to do my gardening in this hat i feel like no one could see me keep the sun off my face keep me looking younger you know they feel like such a good weight though this color is so interesting to me they're really thick and like not see-through well, thicker, much thicker than the H&M ones. Obviously, there's a big price difference, but you do really feel up, feel the jump up in quality when it comes to COS versus H&M. And if you're bored of me trying on trousers, well, you're in luck. The next one is a dress. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just trying to work it out, but this is thrilling, guys. I'm wearing a dress. Okay, this dress is awesome. I will not be keeping it for reasons I'll explain, but let's talk about it anyway. I think it's really cool. So it has this beautiful neck piece that is really the star of the show. The way it just like ruffles around the neck and then it has, actually has a button here and there's a few different button holes in this thing, depending on the size of your neck, I'm guessing. So you can button it and it just looks like it's draped there and it's not going anywhere. Like, like that is really really cool it's like a linen fabric again i feel like that's quite elevated rather than it being like a satin or something like that it's just the right amount of fabric around the neck so you get a real like bunching of it it's gorgeous i love it but the thing is that my i'm definitely a top half smaller so it's sort of falling down almost at the top of the back it's got a lot of fabric in it whereas on my bum it is really quite tight like i don't think you can wear this with flat shoes let's try it with sandals yeah that's weird i don't feel like you can wear it with anything other than heels anyway very very cool dress okay next up is mango i've got one piece in here that i've already tried on in store and i knew that i loved so hopefully i still love it and i've got a couple of bits that are like a little bit rogue I panic bought them just for my birthday and I was really ill and not in my right mind so let's let's try them I loved this when I tried it on in store and I do still like it I feel like 
where it's just come out the packet and it's a little bit creased it's not giving the same sort of lovely drapey shape as it did before but what I like about it is that it's high at the back I like to have my back covered just because I've got like a birthmark and stuff on my back and I love this beautiful brown color I just like the shape of it it feels very very comfortable you don't feel, feel like you need to wear a bra because it's got this rouging at the front but I'm also wearing these earrings from Mango they are big gold squares and I don't know if they're over the top I feel like I can get away with them for sort of holiday wear especially with such a simple outfit here but otherwise every time I put them on they're like big I suppose they're sort of glam evening earrings but this seems like a good holiday outfit this little bag is just from H&M and it kind of goes with this outfit so I feel like I might pack it every outfit next I've got this wrap top shirt and I'm trying to decide between the white linen trousers or the more sort of matchy matchy like off-white linen trousers is it just me or is this gorgeous too why do I like so much of this stuff so it definitely needs an iron obviously but it's just like a wrap sort of shirt top this is just a bit of me you can sort of show as much cleavage as you want or don't want to I know it's long sleeved but on an evening perfect for the UK where long sleeves are often a requirement in the summer yeah I actually do not think with these matchy matchy trousers and also you can really tell how these are bigger and therefore less flattering in a way okay final item and this was the piece that I thought I was a bit crazy in buying and thought oh my god I'm gonna hate it but I've just put it on and is it me or I actually don't hate it so it's this lace dress from Mango it's sort of like textured almost like flocked and it's slightly stretchy it feels very comfortable I will say one thing it's got like a little button right at the top to you know like a button with a like a mini button with like hook string that you put around it but the string isn't stretchy and so it's really hard to get on and undo so that annoys me but it's actually very very comfortable it has this sort of like cowl back to it it's very see-through like I'm not wearing a bra but the lace seems to be covering up enough I wish it had wearing instructions on the package but it was styled on the website with this belt and am I crazy or is this kind of cool I actually do really like it I think like it's a bit trendy and probably a bit too trendy for me but I surprisingly like it way better than I thought I would does it go with the hat everything goes with the hat thanks for hanging out guys I feel like we always have a good time that was really fun for me anyway um, I don't know how I feel about this hair I feel like I might be really annoyed that I had this hair throughout this whole video but anyway I'm sorry that I was absent for so long um, I don't know how long I, it feels like me for a long time I got really ill and then it was my birthday and I got even iller and over my birthday I'd even I'd booked a hotel for two nights I had arranged lots of stuff to do with Nick with family and it, I spent the whole time in bed I couldn't eat or drink it was horrendous and I had been working really hard up until that and my birthday was going to be like my reward and um because that happened I just felt I, I just like my mental health went off and I was just like I'm really fed up and I yeah so I took some time off did some gardening for a while and well for a few days and have been slowly like working my way back but yeah I'm just really really annoyed about that but I'm happy to be back I'm going on holiday but I will be taking like lots of holiday content um so make sure you follow along on all the socials or post wherever and also I feel like I'd like to do a bag I bought a new Loewe bag for my birthday it is pre-loved second hand but it's like current season I believe and 
I want to do I want to show you that so I might do a video on bags soon but also I'd like to do a holiday video and I've been shooting some um, spring looks for YouTube anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe like it really helps me out or leave me a comment I comments are my fave because it's nice to know that people are actually watching let me know what pieces you liked if any and I will see you in the next video.